Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, I'll be going over how to set up a Google Voice phone number. Before I begin, give this video a like, hit that thumbs up button. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of technology videos just like this one. So you may ask yourself, what is Google Voice? Think of Google Voice as a second phone number, a free second phone number, a free second line, um, just so you know, if you have people contacting you, you don't want them contacting your real phone number. Um, this is always a, a better option to give out. So we're gonna go through a couple steps here just to get you all sorted out. And then at the end, I'll let you loose and you'll have a second phone number. So the first thing you wanna do, grab your smartphone, Android, iOS, Apple, whatever you have, find your Play Store or Apple App Store. For me, it'd be the Play Store right here. So I'm gonna click it. And then you're gonna search for Google Voice there. And then just install it when you find it. So this is installing right here. All right, so once it's installed, just find it on your phone, wherever it will you know, be installed at. Just hit it right there. So once you find the Google Voice and click on it, it'll say sign into your Google account. So what it's gonna do is gonna sign in with your Gmail address. If you don't have a Gmail address, the link to this will be in the cards. I made a video on this maybe a year ago on how to create a Gmail address. Uh, for people who do have a Gmail address, just go down here and hit add account and enter your uh, credentials. So for me, my email is right here, so I'll hit that. And it says allow voice to access your contacts. I'm gonna hit deny for now, uh, but basically what this does, if, if I did hit allow, it would import my phone contacts to Google Voice. So I'm just gonna hit deny. Once we do that, uh, we wanna set up our Google uh, Voice number, our actual phone number. So we're gonna click the three lines here. And then from here, you're gonna click on settings right here. It's gonna say get a Google Voice number, which will be your uh, second phone number. So we'll click on that and it will say select a Google Voice number. And we'll just hit search right here. Now what you can do here is you can search by location. So whatever number you prefer, you can search for it. So if you live in you know, Delaware, you can search Delaware or PA or whatever state you're in, you can search you know, by location or numbers. For me, I'm just gonna go with the recommended and I'll click on Westchester PA. So here it may list a couple more phone numbers for you. For me, it's just listing one uh, because I did uh, kind of dabble in this a little bit ago. So I'm gonna select this number, but for you, it may have a whole bunch of numbers. Select the one that you would like, uh, that you feel comfortable with. Just know that if you want to change your Google Voice number at any time, I think that it's a fee of $10. So $10. So just make sure the number you choose is the number you want. So for me, I'll click on select because I want to I want to keep this number. I'll take this phone number. It says you selected that phone number to use Google Voice with your smartphone, tablet, link its phone number to your account. So we'll hit accept number. Link this device to Google Voice. So now it wants to link it to the phone or device that you're on. So we'll just hit next. Here it says allow voice to make and manage phone calls. Just hit allow. So here it wants you to put your actual phone number in because it's gonna authenticate with, with your Google Voice number. So put your actual phone number in and just hit send code. You will get a text message on your phone of the code. And once you do that, hit that, once you get the code, I'll uh, just paste it right here. Like that. It's going to say verifying your phone number. It says you're all linked up to your original phone number. So we'll hit finish. And then it's going to load here. It says that number that you selected is all yours. So just click next. This call with Google Voice. Do you want to use your Google Voice number when calling from this device's phone app? Uh, if I click it, we have a couple options here. I'm just gonna uh, keep it on no for now, just for this video. You may do, you know, do something different. It's all user preference. So I'm just gonna click on no and then click on next. It's gonna load again. It's gonna ask you to do contacts. I'm just gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna click on deny and don't ask again. You may wanna import your contacts. You may not want to, but I'll just hit deny. So yeah, so that was uh, just a quick rundown on how to get your Google Voice phone number. Um, so to find your Google Voice phone number, uh, click on the three lines here, click on settings, and right here is your phone number. So with this number, you can give the people, you can sign up for free trials, 
you know, you can, you want to text people with this number, you can do that. You don't necessarily have to give out your actual phone number. So if I go back, this is our main screen. Here's our dialer, the green circle. Uh, we can dial out to any number and when we call them, it will show our Google voice number. So if I go back here, I can do the same thing for messages. So if I click on the little message bubble, I can click on the round circle with a pencil. I could put a number in, fire off a text message and uh, the person that will get it will, will see our Google, our Google voice number. So we'll do that and um, yeah, so that was just a very quick rundown on how to set up your Google Voice. Uh, nothing too complicated. If you guys have any questions, please drop, drop them down below. And if this video has helped, give it a like. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.